there's our laundry mat. So we'll go put our laundry in and then we're going for cheeseburger. I know I've shown you some privies before, but I wanted to show you this one here. It's called Your Move, and this is the privy. And then when you go inside, this is what the inside looks like. It's a double privy and it has a cribbage board right here in between the toilet seats. So you can play cribbage as you're sitting here doing your business. How about that? So we're just walking into town here, into Rangeley. We just came out of the woods and we have no, no cell service to call a shuttle. So we're hoping to uh, maybe hitch a ride into town. They say it's a real uh, hiker friendly town and easy to catch a ride. So we're gonna give that a whirl. Um, if that doesn't work, we're just gonna walk until we get cell service and call for a shuttle or we get to town. <laughs> I'm hoping so too. So it's not actually too, too busy. Oh, hi, Plantly. Oh, You're hitching. You're living on the edge. I am. I've never in my life. Never have I ever. Never have you ever until today. So we'll see what happens. It's 8.30 on Tuesday. 8.30 on Tuesday. Somebody's got to be on the road. So we're just coming downtown Rangeley here. We're going down to the laundromat uh, to do our laundry and get something to eat. So this is pretty cool. Not sure what it is. Looks pretty neat. There's a log furniture store over there. Store, real estate store. There's our laundry mat. So we'll go put our laundry in and then we're going for cheeseburger. A little bit more of Rangeley. That's the Rangeley Tavern. delicious steak sandwich and fries and now we are coming over here to this cute little ice cream place for of course dessert the rain History Museum is here. Theater over there. <clears throat> Definitely 
definitely a cute little downtown. back on trail we just left the um, downtown Rangeley we narrowed in yesterday um, after just 1.8 miles and uh, spent the day in Rangeley today we are back on trail and we have I think 14 miles um, to the next shelter uh, so I will definitely uh, show you anything that's interesting and exciting on the trail today uh, should there be something to show okay. there's mud crack we just came down this little side trail and found a couple canoes it had one oar so he decided to take it out and go for a little cruise around the pond oh what fun Okay, just came out of the woods. The trail comes right out here on the highway. Look at that view. Crosses the street and continues on down there. So we are about a mile and a half from camp today. It, was, it will be a 14 mile day. And pretty tired, looking forward to getting to camp and setting up my tent and having something to eat. Beautiful. Day 78, and we're just waking up here. This was our little uh, stealth campsite last night. The river, uh, we crossed the river, which is right over there, and decided to camp here for the night. Um, the trail goes up there, there's a road, it crosses the road, and then goes up. Um, so plant Liam Yagi, myself, and mud crack is over there in his hammock. Um, yeah, we got, I think it's going to be a short day today, and then tomorrow we will be in uh, Andover. Coffee this morning? Two. Two. It's a two coffee kind of day. Kind of morning. So I'm headed up Bemis Mountain. Apparently, there's two peaks to Bemis Mountain. Um, that's where I came from, and the trail is going up there. Um, here's what it looks like. So, when I get to the top, if there's a lovely view, I will show you. Not to the top yet of Bemis Mountain. But it just opened up and there's a really nice view here. I just 
waiting for Plantly and Yagi. They should be coming out of the tree line in a second. Well, look at this. Right? Just found the jackpot of blueberry bushes. Check this out. Right? Oh, I'll share. There's so many. Look. This is the way the bears come up here. This is fine. Yeah. We just take the paw. There's so many on here. Look at those. Gonna have a little snack. More protein. We see a lot of this on the trail. Um, I hope you can tell from the video here, but this is the underside, um, the root system of a tree that fell over. There's so many blowdowns and um, I don't know, I guess the ground gets saturated and the roots just can't hold it and the whole tree tips over, roots and all. That's a big one. But we see many, many, many of these along the trail. Um, and this year, actually there's been so many obstacles um, in the trail, like to go around or to climb over or to climb under. Um, typically, uh, on a normal year, um, the volunteers and workers are out here working on the trail and clearing the um, clearing the trail for us. But this year, they are not out here due to COVID, and um, they are greatly missed. They do wonderful work out here, and I think every hiker out here appreciates it. Um, this year, more than ever, we realize how much um, they do for us. Um, so it's been a challenge on top of a challenge. Um, some of these areas are really um, grown in and uh, very dense forest. And then you have the obstacles in the trail. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. And uh, a shout out to all those volunteers who maintain the trail and keep it so nice for us. Uh, we thank you.